Hello everyone, and the Time Splitter series is making a comeback. That's because the Time Splitters uh, brand, the Time Splitters IP, has been bought over. It has been bought by Koch. Is it Koch Media? I don't know how you say it. Um, they're owned by THQ Nordic anyway. Um, they publish under uh, Deep Silver. It is is what they publish games under uh, the company there that have bought Time Splitters. So they have. Say so we're hugely excited to have acquired Time Splitters. Okay, the original games gave fans a massive content, fans a massive content offer, and provided a pure and genuinely fun arcade shooter experience. There's the key word there: massive content. That's what Time Splitters did give you. Um, so they have acquired it. They haven't announced any plans. It is just recently the news broke about an hour ago. Uh, as I'm recording this video. I don't know when I'll upload it, whenever I get the chance to upload it. Probably upload it the same day that this is being recorded. But yeah, you've got the uh, Time Splitters franchise they've acquired. So you know what that means? Probably the probability now of a Time Splitters HD collection. I would say I would say it's pretty high. I would say it's near certainty that they're going to remake the originals. It would make sense. Bring it to PC, PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. Would look good. I'd, I'd love it on Nintendo Switch. I think it would be, it would do well on the Switch, I think. A good mobile game, an arcade shooter, uh, like Time Splitters on the Switch. Bring us all three of them. All three of them on one disc digital download SD card for the Switch. All three Time Splitters games I'd love to see again uh, re-released. And what does this mean for Time Splitters 4? They're probably going to do something with it, certainly. Uh, they do own Dam Buster Studios as well, which is the uh, former uh, Free Radical Design and Crytek UK, as they became. Uh, so they do own the studio that originally, or at least the, uh, well, the studio that evolved from Free Radical Design that originally made the series. How many members, original members of that Free Radical Design team uh, are still there at Dam Buster Studios? Who knows? Of course, the last game they put out was Homefront The Revolution, which was published uh, by Deep Silver. And, uh, you know, it didn't do well. I did review it and uh, it was okay. You know, it had its flaws, um, but hopefully Time Splitters is the game they've been trying to get made for a long time. You know, they've been trying to get this made back in 2008. They tried to get Time Splitters off the ground. They tried to get Time Splitters 2 uh, HD remake off the ground and they couldn't get it off the ground. So it would be nice to see if they can get this off the ground because it would be an interesting... I think we're probably pretty much guaranteed an HD collection. I think it's very cheap, very simple. They're, they're not that difficult to make expensive-wise and it generates interest in Time Splitters. Bear in mind the last Time Splitters game uh, was Time Splitters uh, Future Perfect. Uh, that was the third game in the series and that came out in 2005. So it's been a long time. So people are going to need a reminder of the Time Splitter series. So it'd be nice to see an HD collection. I think it is possible on all current gen consoles. Love to see it on the PC as well. Uh, 4K, 60 FPS. Should be easy. It was a it was a GameCube, PS2, Xbox era game. Uh, so we should get them. I don't imagine will we get them on backwards compatibility. I know I want them on backwards compatibility on Xbox uh, One. Uh, but doing the HD remake seems to make the most sense financially. You can put all three games on the one disc uh, and of course you can get it out uh, on all platforms as opposed to just being backwards compatible. So hopefully they do that. Hopefully they give us an HD collection because I so want that HD collection for Time Splitters. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a very good chance. I would say it's more or less a certainty. I would say that you're going to get an HD collection. Now on to the future of the franchise. What does this mean for Time Splitters 4 essentially? Really, should they do a Time Splitters 4? I've been thinking about this and I think just do a reboot of Time Splitters because it's been so long that since we've had it. The original Time Splitters never really had that much of a story anyway. Uh, Time Splitters 2 and 3 just kind of repeat the kind of same story. Um, so you could just do a reboot and just call it Time Splitters. Kind of like what they did with uh, you know, Tomb Raider in 2013 where they just call it Tomb Raider and start again. Just do Time Splitters and start again instead of calling it Time Splitters 4. Uh, just do that. I mean, I think it would work out pretty well. Uh, the only real concern that we would have with Time Splitters, the next, uh, the new Time Splitters game, is 
modern day uh, game design tropes, man. I mean, Time Splitter, think about it. It's the perfect series for DLC, aggressive DLC, microtransactions, loot boxes. I mean, look at the amount of characters, maps, modes that you could unlock in Time Splitters 2 and Future Perfect. Imagine that as DLC, season passes, you know, loot boxes, microtransactions. Please don't do a battle royale, Time Splitters, for the love of God, no. Time Splitters is an arcade shooter. Don't make a battle royale version. Have a battle royale mode, maybe, but don't make it the main focus. And for God's sakes, don't make it a free-to-play game. It needs to be a full retail game with the uh with a single player campaign don't do a black ops 4 and ditch the single player and go and chase trends make time splitters its own thing and i think time splitters could work certainly in today's environment we've seen the arena shooter kind of make a comeback with games like overwatch quake champions you know they've said that that's i mean i know they're hero shooters but i think a kind of arena shooter you know it's been it's not not something that's been done for a while really overwatch is the best example of it there um but i think it would be nice to see time splitters and i like the humor we want gingerbread men monkeys robo fish we need them we need all of them we need them to be unlockable though not as loot boxes not hidden away in loot boxes behind paywalls of microtransactions and season passes want a, a decent modern game i like the quote there and we we'll always hold them to that quote, um, I can't say the person's name, it's Clemens Kun... Kundratitz? Kundratitz? I have no idea how you say his name, this is the CEO. Uh, so again, he said the original game, he said, massive content offer and provided a pure and genuinely fun arcade shooter experience. That's what you need to preserve. That's it. He's hit the nail on the head there, or he, she, I don't know. Could be a woman, I don't know. No idea who the person is. Um, but yeah, that, that's they really need to get that right. Okay, and they also, they also go on to say that we have many fans of the Time Splitter series among our own staff who are passionate about creating a product that will thrill today's gaming audience. Don't make a battle royale. Don't make a battle royale. Don't make a battle royale! There you go. We've already got Fortnite. You know, we don't need another one. You know, Time Splitters would fit in with that with its kind of cartoony, colourful character style. Didn't work 10 years ago when they were when Free Radical were trying to get Time Splitters published. They were told that's what they were told, famously. Colourful characters, they don't work. People want gritty military shooters. And look where that left us in the seventh generation. The Brown Age, we'll call it. The Brown Age of shooters. They were terrible back then. A lot of games lack creativity. Not like now, at least we're starting to get something different. And Time Splitters, I think, would do well in this sort of era of gaming. I think it's unlikely, probably 2020, maybe 2021, so maybe PS5, Xbox, whatever number they decide to call it. And uh, still Nintendo Switch will probably still be around by then. So I think we're looking at then, so we're looking at maybe three, four years of development before we get the game. Um, or an HD remake, we could probably get that probably next year at the earliest. I mean it doesn't they don't take very they don't take huge amounts of time because all the assets are already created, they just have to be ported over. And there's certainly studios out there like Blue Hole Entertainment. They do a lot of HD ports of things. Uh, they're one of those studios that do that. Uh, they could do it in house as well. Could get Dam Buster Studios to do it uh, as well. That would be pretty cool. But it would be nice to see um be nice to see the HD remake come out. You could get that as early as 2019. Again, it doesn't take very long. They own the IP, so it's not really an issue. There's no real legal issues with getting it out. It's just a case of porting it, make sure it runs properly. Uh, maybe resurrect the online multiplayer. You know, even if they, they did want to bring it to backwards compatibility, they certainly could do that as well because that requires even less input from the publisher. But I think I would like to see it personally come out as an HD remake. One disc collection you know get it out there ps4 pc xbox one and the nintendo switch i'd buy it i'd buy it on all three to be honest all four sorry to be honest buy it on steam i'd buy it on uh playstation store i'd buy it on the nintendo switch and i'd love to play it mobile i think it'd be a good good little game for mobile on the nintendo switch there's no doubt it would run certainly would it ran on the gamecube 
uh, two and three were GameCube games, so there's no doubt that it would be easy to run. So what do you think about this? Um, it's good news initially, but we we'll always react to a new Time Splitters game with a little bit of intrepidation because, you know, modern games, they do have a tendency to mess it up. And of course, Dan Buster Studios' last game. Homefront The Revolution, I thought it was okay. I mean, it did have a lot of technical issues at launch, um, but let's see if they can deliver a Time Splitters game uh, from scratch. So anyway, that is all for this video. So thank you for joining me, and we'll see you again soon. And I'm looking forward to Time Splitters uh, coming back. So thank you for joining me, and we'll see you again soon, and goodbye.